Hello, my name is Chris Bryant and welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a send and return for a reverb in Pro Tools. So as usual, let's just start by taking a look at what we've got in this session already. I've got two tracks, two mono audio tracks. One has a kick drum, one has a snare drum. I'll just play it so you can hear what we're starting with. Okay, so it's pretty straight ahead, and it's also very dry. There's no processing on it at all. Okay, so we want to experiment with adding reverb to the kick and snare. And we want to do it using a send and return. So the way we're going to do this is first we're going to start by adding a stereo auxiliary input track to the session. I'm just going to go up to the track menu, select new, select stereo, aux input, and then hit create. Here's our auxiliary input track. Now on the auxiliary input track, on one of the inserts, we are going to select the D-verb. That's the reverb that comes with your Pro Tools system. And we're not gonna make any adjustments to that at the moment. But I will point out first that on this auxiliary input, by default, there is nothing rooted to the input. So I'm gonna click on my input tab and I'm gonna select a, a bus. In this case, I'm just gonna go with bus one and two. So now we see that we have bus one and two going into our D verb. Now it's simply a matter of using the sends on the individual tracks and sending those out to the same bus, bus one and two. So the result is we now have a send from our kick drum track to the D verb. And we use this fader here to control the amount of kick drum being sent into the D verb. So I'll pull it all the way down and I'll play the track and as I'm playing it, I'll increase the amount of kick drum signal being sent from the kick drum track into the D-verb. Okay, great. So now the next thing I'm going to want to do is once I have the reverb set up and I've got it on my kick drum, I might want to add some of the same reverb to my snare drum. And to do that is just as easy as going in and adding another send or send the same send to bus one and two, except on my snare drum track. So now when I play back the track again, I now have separate control over how much of the kick drum is being sent to the D verb compared to how much of the snare drum is being sent to the D verb. So I'll just play that and give you an example. There we go. So those are the basics about how you set up a reverb send and return in Pro Tools. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you at the next tutorial. Bye.